Air Nigeria uh, project. Um, I have deliberately not granted the full press interview. Um, I've heard all kinds of things going on, all kinds of brickbats in the social media. But I cannot preempt my president. I have no, I cannot. <laughs> all the documents, all the reports, everything we have forwarded to Mr. President. The issues we met on the ground. But just to say that, it would have been irresponsible of me as minister to take over office, and I, I, I feel the pulse of Nigerians. I feel even the National Assembly raised concerns over that, and so many stakeholders. It would have been irresponsible to, to close my eyes totally to those concerns. So because of that, we suspended it to say, let's just look at all the issues and recommend. Now we have looked at all the issues, and it's before Mr. President. But let me just give one or two snippets because of Nigerians who are you know, very, you know, uh, who are quick to judge. In the agreement, you are giving tax waivers to Ethiopian airline coming into Nigeria. They, they ask for tax waivers for five years. And you granted them to come and compete with your local airlines who are paying those heavy taxes. How? You want to create a monopoly. That's why when they tell you that, oh, we want to crash price by 70%, it's a lie. It's Robbie Peter to pay Paul. Because they have removed all taxes from you and you granted them to the tax waivers. And initially, oh, they will crash prices. Once you drive every, every other person out of the market, you now, you now have a monopoly that you can hike it 500%. Nobody there to challenge you. The only thing that brings down prices in the commercial world is competition. It's fair competition. In the agreement, they also, they also made you know, a proposal that day we appoint everybody, top management, everybody Ethiopian in Nigeria. And we agreed. 